Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. Today I'm bringing you some Bad Company 2 gameplay. So Battlefield Bad Company 2 gameplay. Um, I For the past few days I've been playing this game uh, a bit because, well, as you know, Black Ops on the PC is really screwed up. So I uh, just wanted to change things up a bit and decided to play some Bad Company 2. And another thing that I wanted to touch upon is recoil and weapon recoil, both in Call of Duty Black Ops and Bad Company 2. Because one of the things that people always say about Black Ops is that now the weapons have more recoil, so gun skills is a more important factor in this game than it was in especially Modern Warfare 2, where mm, almost none of the guns had any recoil. And I've always found that people talking about the high recoil in Black Ops kind of funny. Um, as in, I'm not going to say seasoned Battlefield player, but I played some Battlefield Bad Company 2. According to Steam, I have 100, ho 100 hours. Um, checked in in Bad Company 2 and having played that for quite a bit before I find it really strange saying that any Call of Duty game has any recoil because if you've played Bad Company 2 you know what recoil is uh, if you can not see properly in this video because I'm using the red dot sight which I recently fell in love with in BC2 but if you don't use a red dot sight and just use the iron sights on the guns, and especially some of the assault rifles, it's really jumpy. It really kicks when you use it. So you can't see shit been, uh, been behind it. So the guy you're aiming at kind of dis disappears behind the, the gun itself and the iron sights when it kicks up. And... That's what recoil is to me. So the recoil that we get in Black Ops, while it's more than it was in Modern Warfare 2, it's nothing compared to what we get when we play Bad Company 2. That said, Bad Company 2 is a different kind of game. I mean, it's a lot slower pace. You, if you, if you first, if you get hurt, you're hurt for quite a while. You don't get any, get any jam in your eyes. It's it looks more like real blood, but you're hurt for quite a while before you recover. And, um, well, it, it's two very different kinds of games, and the hardcores on each side have their pros and cons for each of the games. But I have to enjoy them in, in the middle camp. I enjoy Call of Duty for what it is, and I enjoy Bad Company 2 for what it is. Lately though, since Black Ops have had a lot of performance issues on the PC, I've been playing this game a lot, and it's a really, really awesome change-up, because I hadn't played this game for months, so it was really awesome to come back to a game where it runs smoothly, more so than I remember it to be doing, and I'm actually quite good at this game now. Um, I uh, have gotten a lot better at FPS games since I first started playing Bad Company 2 when it released. So it's a lot more fun for me now, I have to admit. Kind of strange not being able to knife as fast as I'm used to in Call of Duty, but still, I really enjoy this game. I have to admit. <laughs> so, what I'm showing you here is some sped up gameplay. Um, just like this in regular speed. I put those uh, air quotes on them because it's not actually regular speed. I'm playing it back at 125% of the regular speed because, as I said, game play plays a bit slower than it is in Call of Duty games. And when it's, uh, well, it's not super fast mode, but when it's fast mode, it's 250% uh, of the normal speed because rounds or uh, plays in 
Bad Company 2 is a lot longer than they are in um, Call of Duty plays, uh, game games. Uh, especially the longest game mode you can play in Black Ops, I believe, is Headquarters, and that lasts for 15 minutes. Uh, the shorter game play games in uh, Bad Company 2 is 15 minutes, and then they just work their way up to about half an hour a piece. So that's quite a long time to play, you have to admit. So, uh, so I've sped it up. This gameplay was about 16 minutes, and I've managed to shorten it down to about 9. So uh, that's 7 minutes. Some of it, uh, most of it's just sped up, as you might imagine, because the whole gameplay is here. There's nothing cut out, but it's sped up. So in this game, I go 20 and 8, I believe. And while kill death ratio don't count for as much in this game as it does in the Call of Duty game, it was quite fun. It's one of my better games, I have to admit, because. Here it's mostly about objective play, so if you've seen some of, say, Holiday Docs or Team Fierce gameplay videos on YouTube, you know what this is all about. It's all about playing the objective and not caring as much, uh, uh, as much about the KDR. Um, right now I'm playing Conquest, which is equal to Domination on, uh, say, Call of Duty. Uh, so the point here is to keep the keep most of the uh, flags so that the tickets of the other team reduces. So in in contrast to Call of Duty, where you get points from having the flags, here you'll start at 200 and work your way down. Or I believe it's 200, right? Or is it 250? Well, at least you lose tickets as they're called here. When it uh, when you don't. Uh, when the other team has any of the flags cap. So as you also might notice, is that you're almost using a whole clip on one person in this game. I, if I'm really, really economic, I can put two people on one clip, but it's really hard, especially with the assault rifles. And what I'm using now is the F2000, and that gun fires fast. It's the fastest firing of the assault rifles, so you're really wasting your ammo with it. Fortunately, the assault class, which I'm using, has the ability to put out ammo boxes, which replenishes your ammo and nades and 40mm grenades or tubes or whatever you want to call them. So, the gameplay is coming to an end in about a minute, I believe. So... I don't believe I get any more kills. I'm just running around trying to find people to shoot, and I end up getting shot myself. So, I'm just gonna leave it at that, and... I hope you comment, rate, and subscribe. That's all for this time. Snuckers.